My name is Hosoya uh, from Arm Japan, and I'm now president. But uh, uh, the title is uh, like this, and uh, uh, I think you don't know me much. So, uh, Arm Japan is Academy of Recreational Mathematics Japan, uh, in Japanese, Puzzle Konwakai. And uh, uh, up to the end of uh, this March, I'll be president, but from April the 1st, uh, Yoshiki Kotani will be the president. And uh, almost uh, six uh, members of Arm Japan is, are attending here. And uh, do you know uh, Hosoya Triangle? Uh, you can check through internet. And uh, I don't explain here in more detail, full of uh, Fibonacci numbers. And how about uh, Hosoya Triangle? You can also check it in, uh, through internet. Uh, it can be made from two sheets of square papers, very beautiful. And uh, last year, I published a book, uh, Seven Wonders of Triangles, but uh, unfortunately in Japanese, to uh, high school students. So uh, this today, uh, I'm not going uh, into the detail of this uh, book. Instead, uh, I'll give a talk on uh, integer triangles. Uh, if we, we are given three uh, integers, A, B, C, with that condition, you can easily draw an uh, integer triangle. Uh, it's not interesting. But uh, uh, there are several class or groups of uh, uh, peculiar integer triangles. One is Pythagorean triangles or Pythagorean triples. Uh, for example, three, four, five. Uh, it has right angle. And yesterday you enjoyed the talk about five, twelve, thirteen uh, Pythagorean. And the second uh, group is Heronian. Uh, it has an integer uh, area with integer uh, edges. And all the uh, Pythagorean triangles are Heronian according to this uh, definition. So usually uh, we exclude those Pythagoreans except for three, four, five. And the, the, next, the third one is not so popular. Uh, it is Eisenstein triangle uh, with 60 degree or 120 degree. So uh, there's only one uh, Pythagorean integer triangles whose edge is 11. 11, 60, and 61. And very, very thin uh, triangle. But this is unique. And uh, there are two pairs of uh, uh, Heronians. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, Eisensteins. Uh, there are two. Uh, pairs are drawn there, and 60 degree angle and 120 degree angle, you can see. But uh, there are infinitely many uh, Heronian triangles, and uh, they uh, are grouped into five categories according to the difference between two edges, B and C, delta. So delta for one for delta, uh, three, five, seven, nine. And so you can estimate there are infinite number of uh, Heronian triangles. And uh, you can see uh, the next, the, all the area of uh, Heronian triangles. Uh, containing an edge of 11, uh, the area is a multiple of 66. But uh, it is not so interesting uh, because uh, you can uh, easily prove these properties. So how about the geometrical features? Uh, uh, for example, uh, a pair of Heronian uh, to the left 
of this uh, diagram, you can see uh, two heronians uh, whose areas are the ratio is one and two. Okay? And uh, the one pair of uh, Eisenstein can be overlapped uh, into the drawing, something like that. And another pair of uh, Eisensteins can be drawn or overlapped uh, quite uh, very similarly. And uh, uh, this diagram shows some interesting features of slant uh, triangles. Uh, they are the Pythagorean, the unique Pythagorean, and uh, one of the Heronian has the same area, 66. And uh, you can see uh, several interesting geometrical features of these uh, triangles. But anyhow, uh, these are not so uh, interesting, very tr uh, trivial uh, properties they have. But they are good uh, exercises for high school students, indeed. And Martin Gardner disliked new math. You know, uh, uh, overwhelmed by notorious Bourbaki. Uh, a radical mathematician, Dudone, declared Euclid must go and kill the triangles. <laughs> that document is recorded in the document. So I will declare Euclid must come back and revive triangles. Thank you. Thank you.